Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, man. It's the Real World Show. Uh-huh. We told you we were bringing special guests. And we have a very special guest today. This guy called me out as well. I have a word. I have a word. <laughs> <laughs> pretty boy Taylor. What's Anthony going Pretty boy Taylor's in the building. Everyone give a round of applause. Everyone give a round of applause. Finally got to meet this guy, man. Hey, I'm going to tell you guys right now. This man hurt my feelings <laughs> like never before. He called me a cockroach. <laughs> you ain't another black man should never call another man a cockroach. Hey, hey, no, but you know what? You know what you get carried away on the channel. You let, <laughs> that's like the lowest of the lows. No, like, you know what it is, yeah? <laughs> he was on every show. Mm. Misfits. Every show. King, was it Kingpin? Uh, oh, so show star, so star. Show, show star, show star. Yeah. Show, uh, In Dubai, yeah. Wicked and Bad. Tell us your story, bro. How you got into fighting? Tell me how you got to where you are. Because I think everyone hears you on, on Twitter, they have their opinion on you. Right. Just because of how you're, you're promoting yourself. Right. How you an antagonize the community. But where, where did you come from, though, to get here? So, so, where I came from, this all started from WWE. I get all my success, all my credit goes from WWE. Because everybody bites off the WWE. From mm -hmm. the 80s promos, from the Hogan's, mm -hmm. to the Ric Flair, to referencing Rick Rude, to, to the modern Attitude Area, mm -hmm. Raw's War, to the mm -hmm. Rock, Stone Cold, the Triple mm -hmm. H, and John Cena. Mm -hmm. and, and before I get into detail on how I got into it, a lot of people should understand it's five things. You gotta build your brand. You're either mm -hmm. the good guy or you're the bad guy. Yeah. There's not not everybody can be the bad guy and the good guy. Jake Paul, the bad guy. Mm -hmm. KSI, the good guy. Once you build that brand, mm -hmm. you need to put content out. Promos. Promos as the good guy and promo as the bad guy. And the third He's dropping game right now. Uh, He's giving the uh, game. Man. Third, you gotta do interviews with everybody. Every interview, do it because you never know who's going to be the next Arrow, Ariel Hawaiian. Mm, yeah, when I interview with Fred, look how big Fred is now. Fred Beck. Hey, one yeah. of the biggest guys. Hey, Leo's got his Fred yeah. on today. Oh, he he Fred. 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 When I interviewed <laughs> IFL TV, when they first yeah. came out, look how big they are. Mm. In 2021, I called out Jake Paul on Twitter with BJ Flores and the thing. I said, hey, Jake, stop fighting these motherfuckers and fight a real fighter, MMA yeah. fighter. Because remember, the whole 20 was canceled to do COVID. Of course, so yeah, we couldn't do shit. So we rolled into 21 of April. And I said, stop fighting these MMA fight, main fighters and fight me. In April, BJ Flores calls me, uh, me messages me on Twitter, hey, if you want to fight Jake, come to Miami. Yeah. I said, okay. Y'all going to book my ticket? He's like, no, you called him out. Come. So I said, okay. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Yeah, it's true. I booked my fucking ticket by myself, my hotel, flew my ass over there to fucking Miami by hey, this, myself. He's nobody. Giving us a wager, bro. You know nobody, getting the tea? This is the tea. He's giving nobody tea. gave me. No, nobody mm. said, "Yo, it's, it, it might be dangerous." And I said, "I don't give a fuck. kill me, kill me." <laughs> I said, "I flew my ass out there in April. I gave Jake Paul that work." My, how, did, how did you feel in that fight when you was in that fight with Tommy? I, so I you felt sluggish. Right, because I remember you said that he was he's a big guy. He's a big guy. So when the bell went and it began, how did you feel? Well, mentally, I, I was great, bro. It was mm. just physically my body couldn't keep yeah. up because I was in, while I was in the Jake Paul camp, I was getting ready for my MMA fight on uh, Cage Warriors. Oh, I was okay, fighting at okay. 155. So while I was in camp with Jake Paul, I was 160. Okay, yeah. okay. So me getting ready for that, Cause I ended up having to, to put on. Yes, how much did you end up? I ended up having to put on twenty five pounds. So yeah, I had to eat steak and all that. So coming into the fight on a two week notice, yeah, I had to really eat cool. all that shit within two weeks. Mm. So it made me sluggish coming into the fight. Of course it would. Of course, that's, that's, that's way so too much. Weight. So a lot of people again. like criticize like you lost by Tommy Fury. Da, 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 da. I'm like, bro, y'all don't understand. Like this was a two week notice, mm. and I had to put on twenty five pounds. And the day of the fight, I came in at yeah. one seventy. Tommy came in at two twenty one. What's your mm. ideal? Fight weight for you. Yeah, what are you, you best I, I ideally, if this is influencing, I'm 67. Okay. Yeah. Saying? If it's pro, oh, take me down to 54. I'll fight anybody, and yeah. I'll blow up okay. one, 175. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> he's telling he let the cat the back. He's like, saying, listen, like, hey, I'm away in 154, but don't look, think when yeah. you see me right, next right, day. Right, right, right. Hey, listen, yeah. you're gonna get that rehydration clause hey, slapped hey, on hey, you hey, now. I, Everyone, I, 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 I'm gonna give a. Sip on that motherfucker right here, like just like them. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling about this fat man? Oh, I'm about to run through this motherfucker like diarrhea. I'm gonna treat him like a hamburger. I'm gonna flip him and grill him mm. on both sides. Yeah. 
Because uh, see, the thing, wait, 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 oh, no, sorry, go on, you go the thing is, seeing that like, when you look at it, he's a pro boxer, he's coming from pro boxing, mm. right? And he's what, the 13 fights, world. 12 or 13 fights. Yeah. So to me, it looks like they set you up. They tell you, that's what it does look like. to your train. Right, right. Yeah. To me, I'm, I'm gonna tell him straight up, I'm not here to box. Mm. I'm not gonna box you. I'm gonna fight you. Because to me, yeah. when I saw the fight, I said, okay. I know Idris uh, Virgo's been training at JJ's gym. Right, right. A lot of the shoot fighters, guys. Right. Then I see you, and I was thinking, they just want to make you be quiet. Yeah. Because right. you, you're so active on yeah. the socials. Right, they ain't they're, like, they're, to they're like, if you want to fight anyone, fight him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and I'm like, well, what the f does he bring? But I said, ah, y'all mad because I punched Dylan Dennis, and mm. I didn't know what of was course, going of on. Course, of course. So of I course. said, okay. I said, so Idris he just, he just was talking shit for a whole year to me about trying to fight me. For a whole, well, not, we'll say about six months. Saying I'm ducking him. I was like, hey, bro, ain't nobody ducking you. Because mm. at first, I told MVP, Jake Paul, and them, hey, let me fight Idris. They said, well, no, who the fuck is he? He has no clout. Right. I hit up Global Titan. Global Titan before I fought Jack Fincham. I said, they wanted me to fight Aaron Chalmers. They said no. Aaron Chalmers declined it, respectfully declined, because he, he had a baby coming up. So yeah. I didn't want to shoot him down or nothing. So then I brought up Idris Virgo on Global Titans. Yeah. They said no. So you've been hunting him, right? Now. They said no. He yeah. has no clout. I, and I've been kept telling Idris Virgo like, bro, Which no time? one's no one's trying to fuck with you. No, right, up. right. <laughs> so then he talks all this shit, saying I'm ducking him, but then now he signed the contract. Mm. The motherfucker quiet. Oh yeah, okay. quiet yeah, yeah, motherfucker yeah, yeah. now. So then that's when you see me tweet mm. like, oh, you quiet now. Ever since you took signed that contract, what happened to all that shit talking now? Mm -hmm. you, you're a different motherfucker now. <laughs> now that you signed the contract, because I'm going to give you the same fucking energy I, from the beginning. No, we know, no I know you come no. with that energy. <laughs> Listen, I want to get some of your predictions okay. right, for the rest of the show. Yes, yes. Uh, let's start off with Slim and Tom Zanin. So how, how do you feel like that fight? I mean, I mean, if I'm being 100% mm -hmm. honest, I'm going to have to go with Slim because I don't know of Tom Zanetti. Slim has proven himself that he can fight, but... What makes it so questionable is why Tom Zanetti, why yeah, Ryan why Taylor did. after he fought? What, what's that's why I say mm. are they protecting? Excuse me, are they protecting yeah. certain fighters? Mm -hmm. Because why is King Kenny? It's a case. It's, a case, it's an open case. Right. Yeah. Why it's is King? Him. Why is King Kenny fighting DK Money? It makes no sense. When he fought no Face Sensei, you're going. You're starting from here. You go from temper to sensei to DK money. You have a you have a case. You and it's case. like you, you have a case. On? You have a case. Yeah. You do have, you have a, a case. case. Why, Kenny? But then why are you guys calling out Jay Swindler? And this is his first fight. You know. No, Jay Swindler fool Kim. Well, yeah. well, but that's that's like years ago. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, that's like, in the past. You know, that's his yeah. first fight in what, three years? Yeah. Kenny, mm -hmm. you, can, you already have three fights already. You're active. Yeah. yeah. You're so, active. Well, you, know, you want a piece of Kenny? You want to, would you fight uh, Kenny? Uh, of course, I'll run through Kenny. Even his brother Daly know that. And if his, <laughs> if his brother <laughs> I'm he's gonna see you. I'm he's gonna see you gonna run through Daly as well. And if Daly <laughs> wants to smoke, run that <laughs> shit next. <laughs> Like, I'll fight both guys in the same night. Run that shit. Hey. Head over to Room Wars right now and watch the full interview with Anthony Prettyway Taylor. It's going to blow your mind.